Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Hello, teacher. teacher. Good to see you. Well, I know you are there. I don't see your face, mm -hmm. but I know you are there. <laughs> okay. Muy claro. Good. I have this problem, right? <laughs> but it's because of the background. We are um we have some seconds before we start the class. So yeah, we have just some seconds. I'm going to share the screen of today's class. Okay, can you see it? Yes. Okay, good. So we have six participants. Okay, it's one o'clock. Welcome everybody to your English class number two. Uh, let me take the attendance first. Okay, so please say present. And if you can open your camera, that's going to be even better. Okay, so let's start with Daniel Quintanilla. Daniela Magali, Asensio. Present. Thank you. Selvi Oliva. Esmeralda Elizabeth. Present. Present. Gabriela Abigail Arriaza. Jacqueline Vanessa Sura Martinez. Oh, then he says present. Um, okay, Gabriela Abigail Arriaza. Jacqueline Sura. Jocelyn Gabriela Martínez. Jonathan Vladimir Salinas. Alberto. Present. Uh, please um, uh, remember to keep the microphone inside. It's one of. Eh, Gabriela, I'm sorry. José Ángel Molina. Ah, Jocelyn is here. Jocelyn Martínez. Hi, teacher. José Ángel Molina. José Vidal Vázquez Menjiva. Karen Elizabeth García. Present. Catherine Yasmin Guatemala. Present. Margarita Elizabeth Panameño. Present. Aira Arely Méndez. Present. Ninian Elizabeth León. Presente. Victoria Ingrid Leal de Contreras. Present teacher. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Jancy Melanie Montes. Present. Jeremy Lisbeth Lopez. Maybe she hasn't connected yet. Okay, I will mention the people I, I already mentioned, but they were absent. I see that some people have just connected. Daniel Quintanilla? Gabriela Traila Riaza? Jacqueline Vanessa Sura? Present. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jacqueline Vanessa Sura. Thank you. José Ángel Molina? José Vidal Vázquez? 
Jeremy, did you drop it? Okay, thank you so much for staying present. Okay. So as you can see, this is our class number two. Today is Tuesday, September 6th. And we have two objectives for today's lesson. The first one says, by the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statements using irregular verbs. And the second objective is, by the end of this class, you will be able to form simple present questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, so let's start with the, um, well, I will mention the three verbs that we are going to be working on today. The verb have, we have three, we have uh, these three verbs have. So um, we, I have three sentences here and you have to complete it with the correct verb. Who, have, or go. For example, Mary, her homework after class. What is the correct verb? Have, do, or go? Do. Do. Exactly, but remember, it's their person. Mary, it's she, right? So what is does. that? Uh, the correct form is does. does. Exactly. Mary does her homework after class. I will try to make the, the text bigger. <laughs> okay. okay. So Mary does. Okay. The second one is I, a black cat. What is the correct verb? Have. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Oh, have. I have a black cat. I have a black cat. And the last, the students on weekdays. Go. Go. Exactly. Go to school on weekdays, excellent. So we have the three forms, we have the three verbs. Mary does her homework after class. I have a black cat and the students go to school on weekdays. Remember that the three and of these verbs, right? Then the Mary hace su tarea después de clase. Yo tengo un gato negro. Los estudiantes van a la escuela los días de semana. Okay. Very nice. Good. I see you now. <laughs> ya veo que están muy listos. Ya me he pasado sopita de frijoles. <laughs> okay, so I have here a, a, a paragraph of a day life of a professional person. So, um, teacher, teacher, excuse me. Hay mucha interferencia. Me cuesta oír su pronunciación. Teacher, creo que debería de apagar los micrófonos usted. Thank you. Thank you for the observation. Okay, I will try to do it. Thanks. Okay. Okay, so we have here a review. This is a description of a day in the life of a professional person. I would like a volunteer to read the first paragraph and another volunteer to read the second paragraph. Okay, do we have any volunteers? Me teacher. Okay, okay. Esmeralda read the first paragraph and the second paragraph. Hi teacher. Jocelyn, okay. Let's start with Esmeralda. Eh, no le escuchamos, Esmeralda. 
I am Susana Vasquez and I am from Peru Lima. I am 32 years old and I am a teacher and I love my job because it is a Western. I get up early to go to work. At work, I do different things. For example, I listen and talk to students. Also, I prepare class and I check exams. After work, I return home. Thank you. Now, Jocelyn, please. At home, I like to do different activities for instance. I sometimes chat with friends from other countries and I read an um, interesting book also. I exercise in my bedroom on Saturday. My free day, I often go shopping and I have a uh, bar views also and I with my parents. Thank you, uh, Jocelyn Esmeralda. Okay, so as you can see, this is a description of a daily routine, right? I am Susana Vasquez and I am from Peru, Lima. Uh, I am 32 years old and I am a teacher and I love my job because it is awesome. I get up early to go to work. It is in the morning. At work, I do different things. For example, I listen and talk to students. Also, I prepare classes and I check exams after work. And I check exams. After work, I return home. At home, I like to do different activities. For instance, this means, for example, I sometimes chat with friends from other countries and I read an interesting book. Also, I exercise in my bedroom on Saturday, my free day. I often go shopping and I have a barbecue. Also, I am with my parents. So you, you can read here about different activities. What is the occupation of this person? Teacher. Yes. Teacher. How old is she? 32. 32. 32. She is 32 years old. Okay. Where is she from? Peru. Lima. She's from Lima. Okay. What are some activities she does at work? What are some activities she does at work? Go shopping. At work. Remember, Listen and talk to a student. Uh -huh. Raise your hand. I prepare classes. Everything. Check exams. Thank you. Okay, don't forget to raise your hand, okay? To participate and I'll give you the chance to do it. Yes, teachers have a lot of work. Prepare classes, check exams, do different activities. And at home, what are some activities the teacher does at home? Sometimes chat with friends. Chat with friends. Okay. What else? Don't forget to raise your hand. Read an interesting book. Okay. Read. Catherine. Catherine, you raise your hand. Maybe you have problems <laughs> with the microphone. Margarita? Um, exercise in yes. bedroom on um, Saturday. She exercises in the bedroom. Very nice. Thank you for your participation. Okay, now we have another exercise. This is about daily routines. We have another Routine. This is Rose. Uh, let's see. Catherine, if you would like to read, please, the paragraph. 
Hoy sí me escuchan. Yes. Ah, creo que tenía problemas con el micrófono. Eh, hi, I am Rose. I usually make up at 17 a.m. and I get up at 15, 15 minutes later. After that, I brush my teeth and I go to the I go to take a shower. It takes me a uh, five minutes at 17, 17 a quarter. 7.30, 7.30 a.m. I get dressed and I have breakfast at uh, la, la pronunciación del reloj me cuesta un poco. 7.45. 7.45 a.m. Uh, I brush my teeth again. I take my bag and go to the school at 8 a.m. Thank you so much. Exactly. She is Rose. She wakes up at 7, but she gets up until 7.15. <laughs> okay. Good. Now, I will send you the link of this exercise. I will send you the link so that you can do it. Okay, maybe you can do it in your computer or in, in your cell phone. So I will send the link right here via Zoom and also via WhatsApp. So you can do it either way, on your cell phone or in your computer. What are you going to do? You have to rewrite the uh, the actions, but in third person. Yesterday, we learned, right? Yesterday, we learned that um, the third person singular, he or she, we have to uh, write the verb with the S at the, fine, at the end of the verb. So I will um, share the, I will share the screen. Can you see the exercise? Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. Thanks. For example, she usually wakes up at 7 a.m. and she gets up 15 minutes later. Okay, now look at the picture. What is the action? What is the activity? She? She always? Brush? Brush. 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 Brush, but you have to add yes. So is she brushes. She brushes her teeth. Okay. Then she she wash. Take a shower. She takes a shower. Exactly. Then I don't know, live or worship. She dresses. Ah, uh, she gets. She gets, she gets dressed. dressed. She gets dressed. Okay, dressed. She gets dressed. Then she she eats eat breakfast. Okay, you can say she has breakfast. She has. She uh -huh. has breakfast. breakfast. Yeah, you can also say eat, okay? But in this case, she's using have. So she has breakfast because, well, we are going to see that in the class. Ahora vamos a ver eso. Que el verbo have cambia en tercera persona a has. Yes, she has breakfast. And finally, she... She goes... To school. school. Exactly. She goes to school at 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. Ah, is she, what time does she have breakfast? What time? At 7 45. Or 45. At, 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 at
a quarter to eight. eight. Okay, now read the text and connect the picture with the actions in the hour. Okay, now this is in the afternoon. I would like another volunteer to read the afternoon. What she does in the afternoon. Okay, Victoria. Okay, in the afternoon after <laughs> arriving, from school, I have lunch at one o'clock. I feed my cat 15 minutes later than wash the dishes. At five minutes two, to two, I 20 past four, I water the plants finally. I go to sleep at five past seven. Thank you, Vicky. Yes, so in the afternoon, after arriving from the school, she has lunch at one o'clock. So what are you gonna do? You have to match or connect the picture with the time or the hour. She has lunch. She has <coughs> lunch at one. Okay, at one. Then we have, I feed my cat 15 minutes later. I want eh, coach, eh, what is a feed? ¿Qué significa feed? Feed. Feed, I feed. feed the cat. You give food. You give the food to the cat. Feed. Alimentar. Oh. Comer. Okay, she's doing that here. She feeds her cat. Good. Okay. She feeds her cat at what time? One o'clock. Hmm? No, 15 minutos, 15 minutos después de lavar los platos, dice. Ya quiero lavar los platos. 15, now, look at this. It says, I have lunch at one o'clock. Mm -hmm. I feed my cat 15 minutes later. Okay. Yes. 15 minutos después, después de que come. Después de, no, exactly. After. No importa. Later significa después, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Entonces, Mayra. Nada, eso les iba a decir. <laughs> so it's one. Quarter past. Past one. Exactly. A quarter past one or one fifteen. Exactly. Thank you. And wash the dishes at five minutes to two. Five minutes to two. Now, the last five minutes to two. Five minutes to two. Then at 20 past four. 20 past four. Las cuatro y veinte. Exactly. I water the plants. Y le echa agua a las plantas. Rega las plantas. Exactly. She waters the plants. Finalmente right. se va a dormir. She waters the plants. She washes the dishes. And finally, I go to sleep or she goes to sleep at half past seven. Very early. Siete y media. <laughs> exactly. Half past seven. Okay. So that's why you have to complete. <clears throat> And when, well. Ya les voy a decir cuando terminen qué es lo que van a hacer. Ok, finally, number three, look at the pictures and drag and drop the actions to complete Tina's routine. Ok, what is this? What is this action? Uh, is grab. Grab. No, get up. Get up. Get up. Entonces, I drag and drop. Ok, let's see, I will ask Daniela. Daniela Magal, what is this action, Daniela? Mm. Wash your teeth. Yes, wash your teeth. Thank you so much, Daniela. Okay, let's see. Jocelyn, Gabriela. Do exercise. Thank you. Do exercise. Um, Margarita Panameño. What is this? What is this? 
she eat or or she has not okay thank you let's see jonathan do homework okay and finally um mine go to sleep go to sleep so different activities we do every day right okay we finished we click on finished and then here this is very important no no vayan a darle aquí sino aquí comprobar mi respuesta so check my answers check my answers oh okay sometimes because these are um estas son ya las respuestas tienen que si un punto le hace falta le puede salir mal así que por ejemplo aquí quizás hacía falta la hora she takes a shower she takes a shower at 7:15 and yeah maybe something but they were okay yeah. when you finish you take a screenshot le toman una captura de pantalla y lo pueden enviar al grupo de WhatsApp para comprobar que usted hizo el ejercicio. ¿Ok? ¿Got it? Okay, thank you. Ok, ok. Thank you so much. A ver, ¿lo iban haciendo conmigo? ¿Ya lo terminaron? No. No, teacher. No, no yo creo que todos. estamos prestando atención a. Ok. A la clase. Ajá. Eh, yo pensé que nos iba a poner otro, que este es solo un ejemplo. Uh, Ajá. We did it together. Uh, but I can, I can, I can give you another one. Don't worry. <laughs> There's no problem with that. I can send you another one. Ok. Just give me one moment. While you work on that, I will look for the other exercise. On the internet, we can find a lot of exercises about daily routines. Mm Okay, I already sent another exercise, but we are going to do it as homework, okay? Homework because of the time of the class. We need, I need to explain the topics. Pero el que nos mandó al principio, sí se lo vamos a, a enviar. In this moment, yes in this moment and the, the the other is homework the last one i sent is homework How is it going? Como vamos? Fine, teacher. I started exercise, coach. ¿Y todos han podido entrar al, al ejercicio? Nimi and Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Jocelyn? Hola, Titi. Hola, teacher. ¿Ha podido entrar al ejercicio? Sí, resolviéndolo está. Okay, good. Jacqueline? Uh, 
Ah, bueno, aquí hay alguien que dice que no le carga, solo que no, no sé quién. Es. Can you listen to the bird singing? Escuchan los pajaritos. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jacqueline has problems with the with the internet. Okay. Well, if you if you cannot do it in this moment, you can do it after class. Okay? You can do it after class. Don't worry. Right after the class, you can do it. Sometimes um there are problems because you are connected to you are connected to Zoom and at the same time you want to do the exercise. So that's why, right? We have some problems. Tell me. Teacher, no me carga, se lo puedo mandar después. Of yes, of course. No. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, so let's continue with the topic of today. It's a simple present, but we are going to study or today the verb have. The, the structure is the same: subject, verb, complement, negative, subject, don't or doesn't, and the verb. And we have some examples. I have a black cat. You have a big house. But in the third person, he, she, and it, we use the verb has. Esa es la forma del verbo. Miren, have, no le vamos a poner la S, ahí va a decir have is, right? right? Cambia, le quitamos la B y la E, y es S, has. He has a nice car. She has. Long hair, like Rapunzel. She has long hair. It has four legs. My cat has four legs, right? Four legs. Or your dog has four legs. Okay? Then it's the same. We have a beautiful garden with a lot of flowers. You have a demanding boss. Tienes un jefe muy demandante. Okay, they have new computers, right? The students in the public schools have new computers, okay? So that is the structure or the way we use the verb have. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa have? Tener. Tener. Exactly. Good. You can take a screenshots if you want, or I can send you these later. Se las puedo enviar también? Please. Sometimes time is not enough to copy. <laughs> please, please. Okay, thank you. Now, the next, in the negative, we just put the auxiliary don't. But for the third person, we use doesn't. And the verb doesn't change. El verbo aquí no cambia. Look, doesn't change. It doesn't change. I don't have a black cat. I have a white cat. You don't have a big house. Your house is small, right? He doesn't have a nice car. Como notan aquí no dice has, como estaba en el anterior. ¿Por qué? A ver quién me dice por qué. Ayer les expliqué por qué. ¿Por qué en el negativo no le ponemos la S al verbo en tercera persona? Porque va el verbo auxiliar ya. Exactly, because we have the auxiliary verb. Thank you so much, Victoria. You were paying attention yesterday. Exactly. He doesn't, we have the auxiliary, have a nice car. She doesn't have long hair. It doesn't have four legs. Él no tiene un carro chivo. Ella no tiene el cabello largo. Y no tiene cuatro patas. Ok. Then next we have. We don't have a beautiful garden. You don't have a demanding bus. And they don't have new computers. Tú sabes. Okay. 
So that is the negative form. I will try in this moment to send you the, I will try to send you the slides. So las voy a enviar para que las tengan allí. Bueno, ahorita, have and has. Okay. Okay, so you have it now in your WhatsApp. Okay, let's continue now with the verb. Ah, okay. <laughs> now that you know, you're going to write five examples with have. Let's write please five examples using have, okay? And you can write your examples in the chat. Las pueden compartir en el chat también. Okay. Escribamos, please. Let's write five examples we have. Uh, they could be about you or your family. For example, you can say, I have two brothers. I have two brothers and one sister. I have a black table, okay. I have a cat. I have a cat, but I don't have a dog. I have a bike, but I don't have a car, not yet. Okay, another other things you can say, for example, my mom has chickens. My mom has chicken, dogs, Cats and a parrot. Another example you can say, my students have a pretty teacher. No, just kidding. <laughs> I will change that. Mm, we can say, my brother has a daughter. Tiene una hija. My brother, my oldest brother has a daughter. Okay, did you finish your examples? Oh, yes, let's look at the chat. We have, I have a cell phone. Oh, and we have a question. Do you have five minutes? She has a dog. He has one chance. We have a big home. I have four shoes. My mom has a cat. <laughs> okay, I have a black shirt. We have a big garden at home, at home. I have two children. Oh, Margarita has two children. I don't have children. Okay, uh, where is Margarita? Ah, in the other page. Okay, my mom has a blue car, okay. I have one sister. Okay, thank you. I have a dog. Cuando referimos a cosas, hay que usar el, el article, si es one thing, a. Okay, so those are the examples we have. Good, excellent. 
Did you finish? Yes, thumbs up if you're finished. Thumbs up. Excellent, Jonathan. Yes. Thumbs up if you're finished. Good, Jocelyn. Daniel, okay. Good. Let's continue then with the other verb. The next verb is go, okay? The verb go. We have the examples. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nimian, Elizabeth, would you like to read the examples, please? Yes, please, read the examples. Yes. I go to the gym twice a week. Excellent. To go to the park every day. He goes to the beach once a year. Once a year. Mm -hmm. She goes to visit her mother on weekends. Weekends. It goes to the bus station. We go to the supermarket on Saturday. Did you go to church on Sunday? They go to party on Friday night. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mimi, and good reading. Okay, so it's the same. Uh, the form of go in the third person is goes goes okay goes she, he goes to the beach once a year el va a la playa una vez al año he goes to the beach once a year she goes to visit her mother on weekends ella va a visitar a su mamá los fines de semana okay it goes to the bus station va a la estación de bus okay it goes to the bus station Great. And now in the negative form, we just we just add don't or doesn't. Don't go or doesn't go. And we have the examples. I don't go to the gym twice a week. You don't go to the park every day. He doesn't go to the beach once a year. She doesn't go to visit her mother on weekends. It doesn't go to the bus station, etc. I will send you the slides. So you can have it there. Good. And now it's your turn. You have to write five examples using go. Okay. And you can share your examples in the chat. My examples will go, please. Okay, let's look at the examples. Daniela says she go to the supermarket. Okay, recordemos que para he or she sería she go. Ok, 
goes. She goes to the supermarket. She goes, okay? Okay, Daniela, Magali, goes, okay? She goes. I go to the work. I go to the work. My daughter goes to the school. My mom goes to the market. I go to school in the morning. You go to the gym on weekends. She goes to the park, okay? She goes to the supermarket. I go to school. Um, okay, Jonathan, in this case, the question is, does she? Does she go to the supermarket? Okay, that is the question, Jonathan. And let's see. Jancy Melanie, no usamos el verbo to be aquí, ¿verdad? Solo I go, I go to the work, or I go to work. No usamos el verbo to be. Victoria, he go, I go to the university, okay. Um, he goes, he goes to my house. Si se fijan, el go está casado con el tú. He goes to my house in the afternoon. We go to ride a bike. We go to ride a bike. I go to the beach on weekend. I go to the beach. I go to the park in the morning, Margarita. I go to the park. El go y el tú están casados. Okay, don't separate them. Okay, don't separate them. They are married. They always go together. Vamos a ver, niña. Ahí sería. He doesn't. He doesn't go to. Él no va a ejercitarse. He doesn't go to exercise. Bueno. Así entiendo que sea lo que quise decir. He doesn't go to exercise. Él no va a ejercitarse. Okay, so that is the verb go. Remember, the preposition we use with go is to. To. I go to the beach. Uh, y así estaba, miren, en las que les mostré. To, 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 to. I go to the gym. You go to the park. He goes to the beach. She goes to visit. It goes to the bus station, we go to the supermarket, you go to church, they go to parties on Friday nights. Good. Now let's go over the um, another verb. What is the verb missing? We studied the verb have, go, and now the other verb is? Do. Do, do exactly, the verb do. Okay, do is used as an is used as an auxiliary, but in this case, we are gonna use do as the main verb, como el verbo principal. No como un verbo auxiliar, sino como un verbo principal. I do my homework every day. Yo hago mi tarea todos los días. You do exercise every morning. Tú haces ejercicio cada mañana. He does the dishes at home. Al igual que go, I only add yes. Le voy a agregar yes. He does the dishes at home. Él, uh, bueno, literalmente dice hace los trastes, pero que es una, una expresión que significa que lava los trastes en casa. Él lava los trastes en casa. Ella hace la comida para la familia. She does the cooking for the family. O ella cocina. It does nothing special. No hace nada especial. It does nothing special. No hace nada especial. We do the cleaning after class. Hacemos la limpieza después de la clase. You do your best in the class. Tú haces, you, tú haces lo mejor o das lo mejor en la clase. They do the laundry on weekends. Ellos hacen... Eh, la lavandería o lavan su ropa los fines de semana. Aquí me, se me fue un error de, de dedo. Y ahorita, I will try to fix it. Give me a moment, please. Okay. Mm. 
laundry. Laundry. Laundry on weekends. Okay. So that is the verb um, do as a main verb. Como uno de los verbos principales. Como verbo principal. Main verb. Okay. Any questions? So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, hasta ahorita todo bien. So far, so good. Veamos entonces in negative form. Aquí sí vamos a utilizar el auxiliar. Miren, el auxiliar en negative and the main verb. I don't do my homework every day. You don't do exercise every morning. He doesn't do the dishes at home. She doesn't do the cooking for the family. It doesn't do nothing special. We don't do the cleaning after class. You don't do your best in the class. They don't do the laundry on weekends. So we have the auxiliary for the third person we use doesn't and the verb is the same. Now it's your turn to write your examples. Please write my examples with do. Are you already sent the slides? Write examples. For example, let's write some examples together. I don't do exercise. Right? I do the shopping on Mondays. Let's see, we have one example. I don't do the dishes at home. Okay, Victoria, that's great. <laughs> yeah, I do the dishes for the breakfast and the lunch, but my husband, my husband does the dishes uh, for the dinner. So my husband does the dishes after dinner. Uh, so sometimes, sometimes I leave him the dishes of the lunch. <laughs> Just kidding. I do my homework, I don't do my homework. Les voy a poner aquí una, una imagen con más ideas con que pueden usar el do. Ay, perdón, se, no sé qué se me hizo, se me escondió. Permítame. Give me a moment, please. Hmm. Ok, no sé qué pasó con esa imagen que les había puesto por aquí. Se me escondió. Bueno. She doesn't do the cleaning in your house. Okay. Examples with do. 
in the chat, please, in the chat. Uh, coach, I have a question. Yes, uh, Entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre el verbo do y el verbo make? Que ah. son hacer ambos. Sí. Make se utiliza cuando usted va a hacer algo, como crear un producto. Es más para creer, como algo que usted crea, por ejemplo. En algo, algo físico, no una acción. Exacto. Y do es más para acciones o activities. Mm. Por Así ejemplo, como, uh -huh. I make the breakfast. I make a sandwich. Um, I make a decision. Um, I make... Um, yeah, I make my my food or my meal, okay? And, oh, okay? and do is for activities. I do my homework, I do an exam, I do exercise, mm -hmm. I do the cooking, I do the cleaning. Y en esa imagen yo se la, les había puesto, pero se me perdió, quizás no la guardé, pero voy a tratar de buscársela para enviárselos, okay? Teacher. Yes? I have a problem. En la actividad que nos envió la primera, que hay que, que, hay que marcar, yo voy a hacer la 1 y la 2, pero cuando ya trazo las líneas, no puedo unir los dibujos. Así como el ejemplo que usted nos dio, que unía la acción con la hora, eh, trato de hacerlo con las líneas y no, y no las logro dirigir. Ah, los haciendo en el teléfono. Ajá, de mejor de la computadora, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, thank you. Don't worry. Okay, I will um, send you an image uh, to answer the question of the question that Daniel made. Uh, make a question, you use make, okay? Ya se las envié al WhatsApp. On WhatsApp you have the image of the difference between make and do. No sé si ya les cayó. Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, so you make an appointment, you make breakfast, you make lunch, you make dinner. It's to make, to create something, to make an effort, hacer un esfuerzo, make money, hacer dinero, make friends, hacer amigos, make a phone call, make a call, hacer una llamada, make the bed, que es eh, hacer la cama. Ahora, do is for a task or a routine, like... Uh, do the dishes, do the washing up, do an exercise, do a favor, or do your hair, que es como hacer su cabello, peinarse, do a job, do homework, uh, do something, do the shopping, do nothing, hacer nada, right? Do sport. So you have there some examples. Okay. Examples with do, uh, sentences with do. Ya no veo más ejemplos. I want to see more examples with do. Eh, usamos el do como el verbo principal, ¿verdad? Hacer. For example, you can say we do some sports at school. We do the washing. Ah, en esa victoria sería we do the car washing. We do the car washing. Okay, teacher. We do the car washing. She does my work when I am sick. 
Ok, ella hace mi trabajo cuando estoy enfermo. She does my work when I am sick. Could be an example. Another is my best friend does some favors. Does some favors for me. Uh, other exercise could be, another example could be, uh, I do business at home. Okay, very good, Ninian. I do business at home, at home. Usamos la preposición at para hablar de en casa, at home, at home. Okay. Okay. Well, guys, I hope you finish the exercises. I hope you finish your examples. And um, well, tomorrow we are going to continue with the topics because we didn't finish today. We didn't finish all the, 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 the contents. For example, we had a conversation, but um, and we are going to continue that tomorrow in the class. We are going to practice the conversation. Also, we are going to learn how to make just no questions. Just no questions, right? We are going to continue with that tomorrow in the class, okay? And now it's time for you to tell me what did you learn today? What did you learn today? ¿Qué aprendimos hoy? A ver. You use the auxiliary verb. Okay, uh, please raise your hand to participate. Victoria, you first and then Delmi. And then, yes, Victoria? They use auxiliary verb. Okay, the use of the auxiliary verb done and doesn't. Tell me. Aprendimos nuevos verbos, pero no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Okay, we learn verbs. For example, ¿Qué El do y do make, have, make, and go, right? Do you see? Jonathan? Uh, we learn the, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Del pre present si simple, simple. Uh, simple present and, and negative. Yes, affirmative and negative. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. And also about how to talk about daily routines, right? How to talk about daily routines. That was at the beginning of the class. Well, it was a very short class. Fue bien corta la clase hoy, ¿verdad? Ni sentimos. But it's time to go. Okay, so it was a pleasure to see you. I hope to see you tomorrow and that you can have a great afternoon. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, coach. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.